Charles Lightoller was born in Lancashire, England in 1874. His mother, Sarah Jane Widows, died shortly after giving birth to him. His father, Frederick James Lightoller, abandoned him shortly before his 12th birthday. Lightoller began his maritime career at the age of 13 when he began an apprenticeship on the ship the Primrose Hill. It was a choice between that or going to the factory like all the other kids his age, and he chose the sea. After spending 13 years advancing his career, he finally joined the White Star Line in the year 1900 when he accepted a position as fourth officer on the ship known as the Medic. Fast forward 12 years, and Light Toller is all set to be the first officer on the Titanic's maiden voyage. However, he was demoted down to second officer when Captain Smith made a last-minute appointment of Henry Wilde to chief officer. When the ship started sinking, Lightoller was responsible for loading the port side lifeboats. While his starboard counterpart, First Officer Murdoch, would load women and children into lifeboats and then let men on board if there were no more women and children there at the moment, Officer Lightoller refused any men on his boats and launched the lifeboats with plenty of empty seats on them. This was also because he wasn't sure that the davits lowering the boats could handle the weight of full lifeboats. The only male passenger Lightoller allowed onto a lifeboat was a man named Arthur Puchin, and that was only because he had previous sailing experience. As the ship made its final descent, Lightoller dove into the ocean and tried to swim away, but was sucked under with the ship and pinned against a grating of one of the steam ventilators. However, when one of the boilers exploded, the shockwaves from the blast sent him back to the surface. Once he got his bearings, he found the overturned collapsible lifeboat and hung onto it with a rope. He was then able to climb on top of it and take charge of about 30 other survivors hanging onto it. The next morning, when the survivors were picked up by the RMS Carpathia, Lightoller was the very last survivor to climb on board. He was the highest ranking officer to survive the sinking, and thus was one of the most heavily questioned survivors at both the American and British investigations. Many actually believe that it was his testimony as being the main reason why both the American and British investigations concluded that the Titanic sank in one piece, even though we learned in 1985 that it did not. Charles Lightoller went on to have an illustrious maritime career, commanding a destroyer ship in World War I, and even briefly coming out of retirement to help command a liner in World War II. He passed away in 1952 from chronic heart disease, 40 years after the Titanic hit the ocean floor.